Weekly Energy News. Earth is on track to exceed 1.5 degree warming in the next decade, study using AI finds. Researchers found that exceeding the 2C increase has a 50% chance of happening by mid-century. Scientists trained the system to analyze a wide array of global climate model simulations and then asked it to determine timelines for given temperature thresholds. This study has made an even more urgent case for curbing emissions and adapting to the effects that are already beginning to unfold. Germany pledges millions to help Brazil protect Amazon rainforest. Announced that Berlin would make $38 million available for the Amazon fund, an international mechanism largely funded by Norway that aims to prevent deforestation. Deforestation in the Brazilian section of the rainforest rose 150% in December from the previous year. President Lula said money from the Amazon fund would be used in emergencies, including the indigenous health crisis in northern Brazil. China invests $546 billion in clean energy, far surpassing the United States. They accounted for nearly half of the world's low carbon spending in 2022, which could challenge U.S. efforts to bolster domestic clean energy manufacturing. That is nearly four times the amount of U.S. investments, which totaled $141 billion. The European Union was second to China with $180 billion in clean energy investments. The next few years will be decisive. The United States, Europe, India and Indonesia are all ramping up their domestic manufacturing efforts. Shell's record profits more than double UK's climate funding recorded the highest profit in its 115-year history as it benefited from soaring oil prices driven by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Government letting energy giants off the hook, say opposition and campaigners after profits hit 68 billion pounds. Sparking calls for Rishi Sunak's government to expand the windfall tax on profits. Net zero aviation needs up to $1 trillion in carbon offsets by 2050 contributed 3% of global carbon emissions from burning fossil fuels in 2022. Reduced demand for air travel could make a significant contribution toward net zero aviation, but the trends are pointing in the opposite direction. Substituting biofuels or synthetic fuels can help, but only up to a point. Meanwhile, companies making conscious business travel decisions could encourage the industry to move toward net zero aviation.